This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Carrera's interface provides you with five different rooms to allow you to work on your scene. And these are indicated by the row of five icons at the top right of the screen. The room that you're in is currently highlighted and the name will appear next to the icons so you can see at the moment we're in the assemble room. And this is really the heart of the application where you can add, arrange and manage all of the elements within your scene, whether they are objects, figures, lights or cameras. So you can see in this particular scene that I've just set up for this demonstration, I can move that bottle wherever I like within the scene. The next room is the model room, but if I select it now, you'll see that there's no model showing in the room. That's because we didn't select anything to have a look at. You need to specify within the model room which model you're actually looking at. So if I then select the bottle and go into the model room, you can see that that then appears ready for further editing. The model room allows you detailed access to each individual model and it's actually several different editors depending on the model that was originally selected within the assemble room and we'll be looking at each of those editors in turn in future chapters. The next room is the storyboard room and this is particularly useful when you work on an animation project because this allows you to view multiple frames of your project at the same time. And you can see here I've already set up a small animation project where the camera zooms out of the scene and you can see by comparing between the first frame and the last frame that the camera moves out of the scene. So it gives you a very good overview of any animation project. The fourth room is the texture room. Again you'll need to select what texture you're looking at but this is the texture for the bottle that we selected earlier and it's here that you edit the surface attributes of the objects within your scene to set up what in Carrera is known as a shader and it's here that you would adjust things like the colour, the shininess, the bump and the transparency of any objects within your scene. And the final room is the render room and it's here you'll produce your final images and animations and set up and control the size and quality of the output. And for those of you who just can't wait, the render button is here, so we'll just render this particular scene. I've already set up some fairly basic and quick render attributes. You can see that it's just calculating the lighting at the moment and then the image appears as a fully rendered final image. The quality settings here aren't that high, just so that it's a quick render. So that's an overview of the room. We'll be looking at all of those in more detail in future chapters.